We're on. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here, and today I'm gonna. Whoa! Relax, relax, relax. I'm gonna teach you three back exercises to get a bigger back. Number one, okay? And these are probably things. Well, you might have done some of these in, in your past, but the first one, I promise you, you probably have not done. I don't even know if you've ever even seen in the gym. The first one is a hyperextension barbell row. Okay, and what it looks like is, right there. yeah, I mean, that's that's a hyperextension. And the reason why I got this idea for this exercise back in the day when I was like uh, 17, I started doing rows on the hyperextension, not with a barbell, but with um, plates. Like I would, I would pick up, I would try and like, every week I try and come in and lift, like put my hands under, which, is, which was a bitch by the way, to try and get my hands under all these plates, to lift as many as I could up, just doing the hyperextension, right? And then I start to try with a barbell, I did, I would like, I would load and do like deadlift pulls and I was like, you know, let me just let me just turn this into a row now For you guys listening you guys might have something like this in your gym and everyone's hyperextension is different so you might be better off loading like I did today, 25 pound plates on the bar, so you have enough range of motion. But the cool thing about this exercise is, throughout the movement, there's a static motion going on and a dynamic motion, right? So static is like your, your spinal erectors, your lower back, your glutes, your hamstrings, to hold you in place. Um, at the same time, once you're at that, that top point, right, you're gonna be doing a row towards kind of like a, your belly button line or a little bit higher than your belly button line. Um, and I always like to take a placement of my grip um, basically like where I would press uh, on a bench press so if I'm gonna bench press like wherever that placement would be wherever like you know everyone's hand placement is different wherever you feel comfortable on the bar take that same placement on the bar for the row and basically you're doing the working and doing the reverse and this exercise is great like I said not just because of the the, the multiple uses of it but the stability that you can create in the core from hanging over and trying to move the heavier weight and, you know, and honestly you guys might surprise yourself you might be able to use a lot more weight than you think because um, you're, you're actually pretty strong in this position but if you notice you start to feel like pain or anything like in like your glutes and hamstrings um, probably lighten up the weight because you you might be stronger like you might be able, oh man, I could, I could, I could really kind of row this. But the, the point of this row is not to like jerk the movement. You don't want to turn it into like a hyperextension row. You want to do your best to keep it as stationary as possible and keep the keep the feeling in your lats and your in your back, mid back to like upper back. But row in a in a position where you're obviously 45. But row your hands, like I said, towards your belly button or above. So you're not rowing like up like this. You're in you're in that position and you're rowing down like that. So your elbows are going back and up instead of just up, okay? Number two, I almost put up number one again. Number two is the pullover. Right now, you guys saw me, I'm setting up on this with a, uh, a lat pull down, typical lat pull down bar. Um, you can use a straight bar if you have, or a lat pull down bar, whichever you prefer. The key points to this, your grip placement, right? When you grip the bar, don't wrap your hand around the bar, okay? And all back exercises, I would say, like, unless you're trying to like really build your grip strength, um, a lot of back exercises are better when you just, when you cuff the weight, right? Cuff, like, cuff the weight, I guess you call it cuffing? Uh, cuff, like cuffing? Cup, 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 cup. Cuffing, cuff, cuffing. both, both. <laughs> Just don't grab, you're not grabbing it tight because the harder you grab it, the more you're going to involve your grip, your forearms, and your front delt. Your front delt contracting this muscle will take away from the contraction of the muscles in the back, which is the point of these exercises. All right, just trying to build a bigger back. So, on this pull down movement, what you're going to do is set your body up in a way where when you're at full extension, you still have a stretch. You still feel the stretch, right? So, wherever your placement is, depending on how big your rack is, you got to place your body where if you're here, you still have a stretch. Like it shouldn't be relaxed. Now, so, so you're not you're not standing straight up and down. You're no, kinda, I'm not. I'm saying like a slight slight hip. bend. So I'll put my feet um, either hip width or a little wider than hip width. Yeah. Slight bend in my knee, like athletic stance. Stick your hips out and back, so you feel a little bit of contraction, like your glutes and your hamstring. Um, or you're gonna feel like contraction or a stretch, whatever you, whatever you feel, right? You just I just don't want you to like I don't want you to look like this standing straight up, right? You're gonna be slightly bent, so you're able to have that. That stretch, you should feel the stretch like in your armpits, right? Which is gonna be like your lats, okay? Wherever you wanna grab wider, I like it a little bit wider. If you have a pull down bar like I use, probably like right at the bends. Push your hands just over, you can see in this video, push your hands just over the bar so you're grabbing it like this here. I mean, they can see in the video, but so you're grabbing it like this. Yeah. 
right? Instead of like this, because this is a movement that you, the minute you go like this, yeah, you're gonna engage your front your front delt, and it's gonna it's gonna mess up your ability to contract your back, especially in this movement, because it's a it's not like a super heavy weight movement. Um, it's more about the mind muscle connection and like really going through the range of motion, and getting a good stretch. So, other thing to think about throughout the whole exercise, this is this is essential. Keep your chest up. So you don't want to like do one of these. You don't want to be like going like this yeah. to get the weight down. Keep your chest up and keep all the movement in your in your arms, right? And nothing to think about. Arms should feel like they're ahead of the bar, right? You shouldn't feel like you're like this. The bar, you know, you shouldn't feel like this, right? Your arms should feel like they're ahead of the bar. So if the bar is here, right, you should feel like you're going like this, ahead of the bar, right? Not. Not behind the bar. Yeah, I see people do that and then start doing tries. Yeah, and then you start you start going like this, and then the, you're just gonna feel a contraction in your tricep. But if you're staying ahead of the bar, you're getting a good stretch. Keep your chest up. So if you're ahead of the bar, your arms are ahead of the bar, and your chest is up, you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna feel all your lat, all your mid back, across your back in the middle, and it's gonna feel really good. And that's the whole point of this one. Okay. Number three, this exercise. I know you guys are gonna hate me for doing this, but like. It has to be done, okay? It's a pull-up. Not the typical pull-up where you're like, man, I do it all the time already. Pull-up in a fashion that anyone can do. Because a lot of you guys are going to be like, man, I can't do a pull-up. I'm too weak. I can only do like five. I can't do sets of eight or whatever. What I, whatever I need to get hypertrophy, right? I need a certain amount of reps. So, problem solved, right? Muscle is more efficiently built in the eccentric portion of the lift. That's the lowering phase of the lift, okay? So, a pull-up is something that is incredible. If you can do the whole thing, amazing. If you can't, even if you can, it's still a great way to get a really good, how do I, how would I say this? A really good workout. Workout, but I want to say something different. Anyways, don't contraction? worry about it. Contraction? I mean, you're not contracting. A really good muscle tear? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. So, I was basically what I'm trying to say is, all exercises, to be honest, like in the eccentric portion, this is the truth, in the eccentric portion, the, like the lowering phase, benching, you're lowering, you're, you're, you're tearing more muscle fiber. Yeah. And your body's much stronger in that, like, and you guys all know you can hold the weight on a bench press. This is the easiest way to give you an example. Hold the weight on a bench press and take it down slow. The harder part is going to be when you're trying to go like this. Yeah. It, and that's for, depending on the person, like 99% of lifts. But the cool thing about that is you can do it in an assisted manner, which you can on the pull-ups because you can just drop and you could jump to the top or yeah. set up boxes, get to the top, which yeah. is what this is. But bench press too, you can have a spot or help you do four straps. My point is this, in the eccentric portion of the lifts, you can gain a lot of strength. So. If you can get a lot of strength in that muscle, over time, I guarantee, if you did this and you weren't great at pull-ups, you would get better at pull-ups. If you couldn't do one, you'd probably do five. Yeah. You'd probably do six or whatever. But the key points in this one are also going to be the hand placement. Yeah. Depending on where you feel good, this is important, but also the gripping. So again, you're gonna kind of cuff the weight like we did in the last one. We decided we're just gonna call it cuffing, which is like holding it, you see in the video. Cuff your bar. Holding it like this. Yeah. Right, like that, not like this, right? Because we want to take the forearm out of this, and since it's a, we're assisted because we're we're jumping to the top portion, yeah. um, you don't need to worry so much about grabbing it super tight. You just need to you want to feel it on your lat and let it let your body come down straight, which is another thing that's important. You want to try and keep your body as don't, vertical as possible. Don't overarch your back. Don't overarch. You see people, bodybuilders like in the gym typically like they'll do this like almost like jerky motion and yeah you are working something you are going to get something out of it but probably not likely everything you want out of it so doing it this way is not only going to make you better at all the other pull-ups or anything else you're doing rows you're going to be able to build your body completely like specifically your back pull-ups are probably one of the most underrated exercises and i know sometimes they're just they're just hard but this is a way to if you're really good at them be able to do more and get more out of it and then if you're really bad at them be able to do them enough that you can get the use out of that range of motion for the muscle because your, your lats work really good like this it's the opposite of your shoulders right? your shoulders press up your lats pull down right so yeah you can do these variations different variations on the rows but this is something that's just super underrated not enough people do it if you have an assistant machine that's great you can use that as well if not it doesn't matter you can just use a pull a bar you're going to jump to the top portion of it like you guys see me doing the video jump to the top portion lower yourself down as slow as you can i'd say like a three to five second lowering and do your best though like i said cuffing the weight not grabbing super tight so that you can get the feeling in your lap right you want to get to the top tight like don't don't get to the top relaxed and then try and like be tight try and get to the top like already set yeah so mentally when i'm jumping up to the top 
I'm like doing a pull up. Yeah. Like I'm trying to get to the top, like locked. And then as soon as I start to let go, I'm, I'm not just gonna like try and drop it and let it go out. You wanna take some time. And time, like doing this slowly will help you do this if you don't really understand what I'm saying. Get to the top and slowly let the weight down, let your body down, right? As slow as you can, all the way down till it feels even. And then step back up, jump up again, do it again. Sets of sets of fucking 10 if you can. You'll notice that's really hard, harder than you think. I did three and I was like, ugh. Um, but yeah, these three exercises, I would say are super underrated. I know this is one of the most underrated exercises because it's just hard, um, but we'll help you get a bigger back. We'll teach you how to contract your back more properly, which at the end of the day is the thing that's gonna help you get the best version of your back. Like learning how to do these things properly, like learning how to contract my back, I can tell you over my years of training, has been one of my biggest struggles because you can't see it. And most people's biggest struggles because you can't see it. Um, it's easy to be like, oh, this is working. I, and then you get a little bit more motivated when you see like your arm veins, et cetera, your chest, or you get a pump. The back's a little bit less like of that, obviously, because it's in your back and you're not walking around staring at like a, staring at a, you know, I mean, my, maybe if I mean, you're a bodybuilder. I do. Sometimes I'll walk by and I'll be like this. It'd be cool if you got some virtual look at my back. Uh, VR uh, glasses. Just had someone stand behind you all the right. time, like FaceTime you, FaceTime your back. So you literally work out your back and just That's, see your back. That seems so excessive. I know, but would it work? Maybe. Or it would just remind me how shitty my back is. But actually, I have a big back. I just, I've always struggled with the definition. Yeah. So that's a genetic thing too, water weight, you yeah. know, I'm a little like a whale in the back. I've always had a really big back though. Yeah. So, um, do these exercises guys, I promise you'll, you'll, you'll notice a difference in your back training overall. Because again, the biggest thing, the most important thing to getting a better back, better anything, is your mind-muscle connection. And these, these few exercises I think are essential. I could say, looking back, specifically the pullover, which seems like the, the pussiest of them all, but that one is something that I started doing probably like six years ago, and it made a really big difference in like my back development overall. Because I got used to actually contracting the muscles that I needed to contract, and it felt even. So that's another thing. When you're doing this stuff, if you notice you don't feel even, um, I might make another video about this, but if you notice you don't feel even, you're gonna have to start doing and learning some unilateral exercises. And you gotta get some mobility work, like be, become more mobile, probably in your shoulder, your rear delt. Yeah. And then also get some soft tissue stuff or like foam rolling. You don't even need to get it done. You can foam roll yourself. The cross ball. The cross ball. Oh, Just loosen yourself up because a lot of times um, the balance, you'll, you know, sometimes people feel like, oh, I feel really tight here, but not much here. There's something going on there and addressing that is important instead of just like keep trying to go. And I've also learned that over the years too. So try these three exercises out. I guarantee I'll help you get a better back, bigger back, more lean, whatever, whatever you're looking for. Like the principles that you can learn from these exercises and the things that I mentioned in this video will do that, I promise. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications. Um, Lean Bulk is coming soon. I know I got you guys waiting on that. Um, but like I'm trying to prepare because the f day one, no joke. It's no joke. Yeah. I wrote, really I wrote it and I was like, why did I do this? But then I was like, oh wait, I did this because I'm trying to make some fucking gains. And I just hope you guys are too. But I'm trying to like really like drive it home, you know? So uh, I gotta be ready for that. Today, I woke up this morning, I was like, you know what, today, today is, uh, I'm ready for that day, but mm, not today, today, like to, tomorrow today, you know? Cause I'm being a bitch, I'm not gonna lie. But I love you guys, subscribe to the channel. Lean Bull coming soon. Uh, that's it, thank you.